Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about the new episode of Dr. Stone, which is on episode episode 18 of Dr. Stone New World or Dr. Stone New World Part 2, episode 7. Now, this episode right here was actually pretty crazy, although like um, I didn't expect that to happen, but I guess we're about to find out soon. So if anything else, let's just get this started right here, right now, right away. Um, We had to, yo, gets the weapon, but he doesn't know how to use it, you know? Eventually, you know, I thought, like, um, Hyoga was actually knocked out by Maz, but unfortunately for, um, Hyoga, he doesn't stand a chance, so he ends up running, running right now, you know, swimming across the ocean, etc., and runs, because he has no chance against Maz's, like, um, skill and strength at all. Although, like, Hyoga is able to hold his own, he's unable to, like, um, hold out for too long. Eventually, Senku and everyone else manages to make the weapon that, like, um, Hyoga needs to, in order to fight against Maz or overpower him. Eventually, um, they end up making that circle cylinder kind of thing, cir- hole whatsoever, and gives it to Hyoga, and Hyoga easily defeats Maz. As for Yo, his stupidity cost him his own life because he doesn't know how to do it and he's imagining things. And by that time, he gets turned to stone after Ibarra gets next to the weapon as close as he can and says, One meter and five seconds and ends up destroying and ends up petrifying Yo. By that time, we have to eventually that um, Ibarra manages to grab that freaking strange guy, whatever his name is, I don't care, um, that freaking, like, um, Anubis-looking guy whatsoever, he ends up having to, like, um, get him, etc., and has him go on a mission. However, we had to it that, um, Ukyo, realizing something is wrong, ends up having to tell everybody, thanks to Taiju's voice whatsoever, that the guy is about to enter the center of the island doing the petrification whatsoever. We have to eventually that this petrification happens anyway, even though they stopped him, because one, Ibarra manages to give him, like, give the freaking, the amount of time of what to do for, like, um, what should we call it, um, for the petrification to work, and then like um, the thing is, Ibar makes the guy swallow it. Like he literally made the guy swallow it into his stomach or something, and the petrification happens. Eventually, Ukyo manages to give the information to the group, and by that time, sadly, everyone gets turned to stone. Ibar claims victory, and I'm thinking in my mind, yeah, you're an idiot, Dumbo, because one, you petrified everyone, and that you are the only man standing there, no one's gonna help you out, you know, that kind of thing, and etc. Eventually, Ibarra will, will later on find Soyuz there, and he re- he knows that baby saw the whole thing where, like, um, Ibarra freaking, like, um, turned his father into stone, but even though it's a baby whatsoever, he knows that the family that, w- that was created by the master, or the one of the village, has a very strong memory. So he was about to kill the baby, but the mother of the baby shows up and manages to protect her, but she cost her her life whatsoever. You get the idea. If you watch the episode or read the manga, you get you understand. But we had to eventually Senku will later on lure, lure somehow Ibarra to the location and tries to activate the weapon, but it didn't work because they ha- he has to be up close and do it, you know? So, pretty much, it's Senku versus Ibarra. So, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm pretty sure Senku is going to have a hard time unless he has an idea what to do. So, we'll find out how this goes out. So, if I... So, yeah. Um, pretty much, in this episode, if I had to simplify it without giving a lot of detail and making it very complicated, etc. One, um... Let's see here. Um... Yo gets the weapon, unfortunately he gets turned to stone thanks to Yabara managing managing to be near him in the right distance. But as for um what should we call it? Um as for everyone else. Um Hyoga versus Maz. After Hyoga gets his weapon, he easily defeats Maz. And as for Senku and the others, you know, they all get petrified with, with the exception of Senku, thanks to Ibarra's like diabolical plan, you know? He does get the weapon back by shattering the guy to pieces, you know, whatever, and so forth, and yeah. So, pretty much crazy stuff here and there. Don't know what's bound to happen next, but one thing's for certain is that, like, um... It's Senku versus Ibarra, and next episode's called Last Man Standing, so who's gonna be the last one standing? So, until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video, so I'm off as little. Have a good day, I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out, Bye bye Toot-toot-toot!